Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I am back with a new video. Now, first up, I just want to say a massive thank you to all the support and views I got from my previous video where I discussed the brand Diesel, my new love for it, and the items I purchased from the label recently. I was very surprised by the popularity of that video. I guess people are just as interested in Diesel as I am. So again, thank you so much and hi to new subscribers. Now, in this video, I'm going to do more of a talk through about my favourite outfits of the last few weeks and particularly one person that has just caught my eye in terms of her look. Everything she's been wearing I've been loving and I just had to get up on here and talk about her. So I'm going to be talking about Bridget and Star Simone Ashley. I didn't know about her before, you know, I watched the second season of the, the Netflix show. I, I love her character in the show, I love just her acting, I think she's a great addition to to the programme and I can't wait to see more of her in the show and off screen, particularly when it comes to her style. I've been blown away by the ensembles I've seen her in and you know I keep tweeting about them, keep praising her her style team, I don't know exactly who they are but they're really doing the job and they're doing it well. One piece in particular following that kind of root of strong colour is this ensemble she wore, it was a purple piece consisting of a mini skirt a plunging top and a matching shirt, one off the shoulder. I love this look. I think it's strong, it's striking, and it's daring with like the mini skirt and the plunging top. You usually don't do both, but she pulls off so well. And you have to have confidence with this look, and she just has it in bucket loads. The second look she did that had, again, that just big, bright, bold pop of colour was a full head to toe Valentina Couture outfit. She wore a flowing like long length shirt and these wide leg trousers and what I loved about this outfit is just when she was walking to the side looking back at the camera the the whole ensemble just trailed behind her in this blaze of just colour and again I just think it set off her skin tone so perfectly um, and it's a, it's a real daring look but it's young and it's fun she's like the perfect age to just rock that I love the pockets and the trousers I think that's a real chic element there's been a lot of these pieces rocked by Celebrities and sometimes it's been hit and miss with me with because it's such a big colour, that effervescent pink. So, you know, it's, it's not always a win, but here I just think the style of outfit she went for, I think, really, really works for her. Next up is the outfit that really caught my attention and made me fall in love with Simone's style right now. It's this full on glamour piece. She wore a fitted white dress, which had like a crossover, similar to this top kind of style, showing a little bit of decolletage and she had this feather boa again it's hanging around her shoulders it brings that old school kind of Marilyn Monroe vibe to the look she looked like a star from the way her hair was style pinned back it was just the perfect choice to go with this look to laying the dress and like the feather boa speak for itself everything about this was on point the whole all the choices made by her style team from beauty to hair to clothes, to shoes, everything. As well as bringing that kind of hard edge, daring vibe to her outfits, as shown in the previous two looks, Simone's also able to pull off that kind of ethereal, feminine side, which I think is really, really interesting. And more recently, Simone wore a cutout dress, like a column style, and it was by Monet. Now, I'm not really fully familiar with Monet. I have become recently. After seeing her in this dress, I had to like Google and from what I've seen, they do a lot of very simple cut pieces, but then they like to experiment with like cut out details like this dress and the structure of the pieces. And I'm someone who's really into structure when it comes to, to bags, when it comes to the shoes and outfits. I like that sculptural aesthetic um, and just playing with different styles and shapes. So this is something I really, really warmed to immediately when I saw Simone in this. And again, she's bringing another kind of style element um, to her outfit so this time it's like sleek um, and refined yet still a bit sexy a bit daring so it just shows the dynamic that she has from what I've noticed also so far picking out these looks is Simone I guess typically does a monochromatic outfit which I didn't plan that but everything I've said so far has been like head to toe one colour um, and I love that it really makes a statement if that's what you're going for um, with your outfit and I might as well continue with that theme. This is an all white look by Simone. She is wearing a shirt which has like this 
embellished, I don't know if it's pearl, crystal detail all along it and it's tucked into a high-waisted skirt with matching platform boots. I love this, it's, it's very different and again it's modern, it's pushing the boundaries of like typical style, it's not something I necessarily would expect from her but again I feel like from what I've said you can tell she does bring the unexpected when it comes to her ensembles. And this is this fresh, a fun take on like tailored style. But now changing gear from one colour head to toe with this Gucci runway outfit. This was from I believe the pre-fall 2022 show. And she is rocking a kind of white crop top with these black contrasting long lace gloves and a high-waisted skirt with like some mesh detailing, some see-through panelling. What I love about this is it's very vampy. Again, it's a different vibe from everything else I've kind of showed you guys. Um, channeling another character when it comes to style. I just love the unpredictability when it comes to Simone. As you can see, like, everything I've talked about has been so different. But yeah, I, I love this. This is, really, this is really cool. That is all the outfits I have to discuss in this video. Let me know what you guys think of the looks. Are you fans of some and not others? I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. Please subscribe and I'll be back with a new video very, very soon.